New at six, a hit and run driver caught in the act. Cameras rolling as a car runs over two women on their way to work. The women were crossing 33rd Street near Berrywood Drive in San Jose this morning near Ann Darling Elementary School. KPI X 5s Lynn Ramirez with the new video of that crash. That's the third hit and run in the area in a week. Len? That's right, Ken. This video clearly shows what happened. The two women walking to work and then crossing the street behind me, the car speeding through the neighborhood, and then the terrible impact. The driver then can be seen turning around to come and check on the women, apparently, and then driving off. We have to warn you, this video is graphic. The video shows two elderly women entering the crosswalk in the pre-dawn darkness. Unfortunately, they do not activate the crosswalk's flashing lights before entering the street. A second later, a dark-colored car comes speeding through and plows straight into both women, sending their bodies flying to the curb. After stopping for a moment, the driver then goes forward, turns around, and comes back to the scene. He appears to check on the women before taking off for the last time. Yeah, it was hit and run. Person should have been more responsible. One of the victims was Natisha Coors, 62 year old mother. She's in the hospital. She's going to need two surgeries for her shoulder and her leg. And the other lady's going to need two surgeries as well. The accident has shaken up this close knit seat community where both women live. The daughter says the women were walking to the bus stop to go to work as housekeepers. It's hard times, first accident, so. Long skid marks show the car's path right across the crosswalk. Neighbors say cars often speed through here, and the city recently. Recently installed a flashing crosswalk, but neighbors say they've been pushing the city to do more. Pupils go here on this street 50 to 60 sometime at the night time, in the morning, in the afternoon. So that's why I have a humble request. Please, we need a speed bump, 10 speed bump at least. Please, we need a speed bumps on this street. San Jose police are trying to track down the driver who turned a bad accident into a felony hit and run. For whatever reason, people flee because um, oftentimes they're unlicensed, they don't have insurance, or they have a warrant out for the rest. And it's really, it's not worth it. Um, again, they uh, risk additional charges by fleeing the scene. And that video has been shared with the police department. Investigators going frame by frame to try and identify that car. Now, the uh, two victims uh, were very lucky they were not killed in this uh, accident. But, Ken, it has been a very dangerous year for pedestrians in San Jose. Uh, last year, there were 16 fatalities at this time. This year, there are 22. Got to slow down. Got to watch out. Got to watch out for the pedestrians. Len, thank you for that.